to start? I've been abroad for seven and a half years now. But I still get the same sensation each winter abroad when it's not 28 degrees, but just, I don't know, right now it's 10. And I get that feeling of getting hit by reality because I'm not in my home country in Colombia. And I'm far away from my family and people I love. And this is the most productive period, winter time, in terms of philosophical thoughts and life learnings. I have started to meditate every day for at least 10 minutes when I start the day because I feel like it's a form of self-love to give myself that space and time to just focus on my breath. I used to not like silent meditation, but now I can see the benefits. And the purpose for me is to not let my mind control me, but control my mind. And not necessarily control it, but just help it have healthy patterns. I realized that your body, when you're eating, for example, and you digest, you don't control the digestion, right? It's your body that does it. And that means your body has autonomy in a way. And especially the brain can also have that autonomy if you don't learn how to calm it and tell it what to do for you. You know, at least we have that communication with the brain. You let the brain know what is important for you and what is not important for you. If your brain is feeding you some thoughts that you don't like and you don't identify with, then you should let the brain know. And the way to let it know is to not put attention on those thoughts. And that is what meditation is about for me. If your brain gives you those thoughts and you do valued actions instead, then the brain will understand that those thoughts are no longer important. Only after I'm done with meditating and yoga, I allow myself to check out my phone and then I will have breakfast.
So this is my cute baby. I bought him yesterday because it was freezing. I had to get a lot of courage to get out of my bed yesterday in the freezing cold and go to Japan Home Center and choose a heater. Actually, this is the second heater I buy because the first one didn't work. But this one is very good and kept me warm today, which I, for which I'm very grateful. But uh, I, I don't have the guts to return the other one because it's actually very cute. It doesn't heat at all, but it's very cute and I'll show you. This baby here, I bought him two days ago. It's one day older than the other one. And he's so cute when I turn him on. He gets all orange here and reminds me of those bars in Paris where they put these things outside, you know? And it looks, I don't know, gives me good memories, looks cute. It can heat up your body very quickly. This is like far infrared or something, um, but not the space it, itself. But yeah, so this is my other baby. It is actually quite late now. We're gonna finally go out. Um, I spent some time looking at old footage and I was planning to edit some videos. So that's why I just spent my day doing that. And now I'm gonna go out and I'll show you where I go. And I also want to talk to you about real deep things. Each year I ask myself why I moved away and do I even have the right to complain? I think for my specific situation, moving away does serve a purpose because yeah, Colombia was comfortable for me. I got to dance a lot. I got to, you know, speak Spanish. I love speaking Spanish. I feel very comfortable speaking Spanish. I got to be with my family, my friends, but it doesn't serve my purpose to be in Colombia right now. And I don't think in the long term either, to be honest. I can go there and I can still practice Colombian culture while I'm abroad. But yeah, I don't have to be in Colombia for that. And actually, I feel like I am more helpful for Colombia when I'm abroad because I get to share my Colombian culture with other people and people can learn things from that as I learn things from the other cultures. So my point is exactly that. When I live abroad, I can learn from other cultures and I think discover more and more who I am. For me, I really believe that you are something, like you have some pure state inside and your journey in life is to rediscover who you are because everyone is born under certain circumstances like your culture, your family, things you don't choose. But that doesn't define you. It doesn't have to define you. I think you should explore to really understand who you are. So I left Colombia because I have a purpose. And being abroad helps me fulfill that purpose, helps me come closer to that more and more. Everyone tells me, oh, how can you be so hopeful when the world is like this? How can you still want to think that things can change and try to change the world, things like that? But actually, I think my point of view is more realistic because I think in reality, 
things can change quite easily. It's just a matter of wanting to let that happen. And I think people tend to live a lie and tend to feel overpowered by something else and not follow their values. For me, that is an illusion. That is not reality. Reality is that we have good values. We are good people. And our world can do better. I think so. infinite amount of money, I think they will do good things. I think our world today has been created by fear. Fear of not having enough. Fear of losing everything. Fear of the unknown. And people, I think, want a lot of control, want a lot of sense of security. But I think all of that is an illusion, to be honest. And, well, because the world has been created by humans right now, the system, that's why I think it can change because humans created it, humans can change it. And if everyone gets in their healthy state and then follow their values, their true values, you know, then I think we can make the world better. Actually, maybe it's from my Colombian family or something that I have this value that I don't really focus on material things and money and oh, like how much money do I have and I have to have a certain amount of money before I do this. To be honest, I act as if I had an infinite amount of money even though if you look at my bank account, you'll probably think I'm crazy. But somehow it has always worked and I came from such a small family. Small in terms of our place in society, located in Cali, Colombia, you know. There were not a lot of opportunities, and actually both my parents, they grew up with a lot of economical scarcity, and I have memories of not having enough even to eat, but somehow I survived more than well enough. I'm not afraid of not having something to eat. Of course, I believe in things like destiny and somehow things work out. And so, okay, I admit it. Maybe you have to be a bit spiritual to trust and not think about the future and things like that. But you could also be scientific about it. I'm doing this experiment where I follow my values. I follow my values without thinking about my restraints or limits or li limitations or reality you can say i'm stubborn but i think it is my purpose to be stubborn and to stick to what i feel i am and my vision of reality which is that the world can change for the better. If everyone stick to their values, to be honest, the change would be very quick. I believe. So, I have to be an example. I have to be an example of the change I want to see. vegan empanadas but
That guy that was performing with the light ball and throwing it in the air and then catching it again, he said something I didn't record, but he said, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for happiness. He was performing in the street and then he said, just if you want to help out, you can you know, give some money. I'm going to go with a sombrero, with a little hat. But if you cannot, don't worry because I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for my happiness. I think that's a bit fucked up. I think money is a tool to help people. I don't think it should be limiting people to not do what they want. And then after that, next to the Star Ferry Terminal in Chinsachi, there's a lot of buskers. So they just sing on the street, they do busking. And they're also just doing it because of their passion. I hope if people do things like that, money will come naturally. I think. Our world is resourceful enough to be able to provide for everyone and I'm sure there's another way of organizing society so that everyone can be their healthiest version and everyone can follow their values. Money can never buy your values and you shouldn't allow money to control your values. I think values should control money. Concretely, I, for example, do not accept to work in things that I don't like. I want to make a positive impact through my work. I love working. I'm not lazy. I love working, but I want to do something positive. I want to feel like what I do is making sure everyone has value and giving that value to people. I cannot work jobs that just want to, you know, raise profits. I mean, of course, that is an important goal, but not the main goal. It shouldn't be the priority. And also, I don't like, let's say, if you're in sales, I have a lot of standards for things I use, things I buy, for example, and creams and things like that. There's a lot of bad ingredients. I have researched that, and I cannot sell something that, for example, has a bad ingredient if I were to do sales, you know, because I think that's bad for your health, and it doesn't follow my values, which is everyone should be healthy. So, yeah. And if I were to work in a company, let's say, it would have to follow certain guidelines. Like, it would have to care for sustainability and it would have to want to improve our society in a way. I think every company has the room to do that in any sector. So, if more people refuse to not work for money, but work for values, the money would go where the values are. I think so. I plan to come here to eat. It's my favorite restaurant in Hong Kong. It's vegan, but it's closed today. So actually, I'm going to have dinner with one of the buskers I met at Jin Sa Choi. <laughs> Hong Kong is special in that sense because even though I'm far away from my family and technically alone. People here are very nice and open and very human in a lot of ways and they treat me well because I respect them and respect their culture and I'm interested in their culture so I think I get well treated here and yeah I'm gonna make a new friend now. Do Hong Kong people also call you Daniel? Hong Waki. Hong Waki. Hong Waki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hong? Hong Waki. Oh, you have a tattoo? Yeah. How, how long do I let it? Tofu should be okay. Tofu? Okay. Tofu should be okay. 
Taupu. Taupu, yes. Taupu. How did you know about the history of hot pot? I'm quite interested in learning new things. Okay. Like it's quite interesting. Story. Yeah, yeah. So it is. It made me. How did you did you find it on the internet or like because of your school or museums? Our school. Your My school. Told me that. Ah, okay, okay. You're the first one who told me that. The first one who told me. Yeah. In I'm, Hong Kong. Yeah, I'm also the first one that I it brought me. Brought me. To <laughs> Do you have any friends from Hong Kong? I like, have some, yeah. Companies. Yeah, I have some, yeah. Yeah, too bad. They didn't bring it to Hong yeah, Kong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, this is not tofu. This is vegetable. It's not tofu, but it's the plant. It's good, know. good. Cook. Okay, what happens when I have too many things? Uh, what do you mean? Like, I'm taking it out here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was too hot, right? Is it normal? Uh, no. Most of the people in Hong Kong is like, out and then, oh, right. and then I'm so slow. I cannot eat like that. <laughs> yeah, because it's too hot. Right? Yeah, too hot. But actually, it's perfect for winter. This one, perfect for today. Mm. I don't get cold. Yeah. I don't get cold yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you uh, write, please? Um, Cantonese. This one. I want to find it. This. White one? And then I can put it on Google. Choksan bamboo fungus. So do you usually go busking? No. The last time that I was busking was last year. Last year? Yeah. So but my friends go to busking off. Mm. So it was your first time in a long no, time. No, my first time. Uh, just by a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. So do you how do you usually do music? You like to sing? I just want to sing. I'm not pro. Uh, but do you want to perform or no? No. No? You just have to be in work. Really? I don't have time for develop my hobbies. But why don't you find time to develop this? Mm. Actually, I have different hobbies. Yeah. Like basketball. Basketball, okay. Basketball, running, gym, and, and music. Like, okay. I can't say which one is my favorite. Really? Yeah, but oh. I just like to have different things to build in my life. Okay, like, okay. Because I'm already working like 12 hours a day, maybe. What? Like, yeah. From what? Tell. From 1 p.m. to 12, like 11 hours. 11 hours. Until 11 p.m.? From 1 p.m. to 11 p.m.? to 12 p.m. maybe. To midnight? Yeah, to midnight. Yeah. Why? Why until so late? Because I'm, I'm the boss. So you should. Ah. Yeah. Wait, it's your company? Yes, right. Ah, you own the company? Yeah. Wow. How did you do that? Uh, maybe it's due to I'm ambitious, I guess. Okay. You know in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. it's really tough if you don't have uh, money. How long do I leave this one? How long is it? How long this one? Uh, for quite a long time. Long time? Yeah, like Did you minutes. check? Did two you check? Yeah, okay. When is the last time that you ate meat? How many kids do you want? Yes, two. One two. Sister and Wait, one one girl and one boy. Yeah. In Colombia, we say la parejita. La parejita. What's that mean? It means one boy, one girl. La parejita. Yeah. Why did you mean this? It means pareja means a couple, oh. but parejita it means that you had one boy, one girl as children. You know. Is it one of the blessing? People like that a lot. Yeah. Oh. When was this? When did it happen? Last Sunday. This what? One. Yeah. What? Yeah. When did you break up? I broke up. Oh, the, the beginning of September of December. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so we break up, but we still go. I, I still go to the, the trip to see if we can we can keep staying together. But 
You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Is this still her? You don't have a tattoo for her? Nope. Will you have one? Uh, maybe. I am considering because I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a very risky tattoo to yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe. I don't know. No idea. Okay. I still don't have this tattoo of any tattoo. Okay, okay. But I don't know why. Just keep shouting at me. Ah, no, don't accept that. Yeah. Don't accept no. that. But it's good. Like, every, every cloud has a silver lining. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. That's a very good way to think. Yeah. Well, I think. Uh, we can have fun this morning. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I have to eat quickly. Yeah. I'm trying to take everything to make it colder. I don't think you should like let yourself stop being yourself because of someone, but. Just choose who you are like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you have to make sure you get that also in return. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I have to talk to you more about this, but we have to eat first. So. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to keep chatting in the bar? Just near there. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, I'll introduce my house to you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, wow. What is this? The same? What is this? It, it's the same. What do you have too? What do you have? This one? Uh, Not same. This is no this is, no, is sugar. no sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I really like this. Thank you so much. I love this. You have slept? People have like are you mind have friends that your friends smoke cigarette? Ah. Well, I'm sad about them. Do you smoke? Yeah, I still smoke. I don't smoke. You don't smoke? I don't smoke and I don't drink. You don't smoke and you don't drink, so what will you do when you go to the bar? I drink something else. Really? <laughs> I, I grew up like in a very healthy place. Oh, healthy. Very healthy people around me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ever drink before? I do, I have, I have, but not anymore. Not anymore? Right? Yeah, not anymore. I drank uh, from 18 to like 22 or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. This is so good. It's so good. Okay, that was a very unexpected night. I had a very beautiful encounter and I guess I will keep in touch with this person and he introduced me to a lot of people because he was having like a company dinner and they're, I mean, they seem very nice. And I talked to one girl specifically and she's awesome. I'm very glad I met these people. Um, For things like this is why I really love being in Hong Kong and enjoy the life here because I just bump into such nice people, people who are so interesting and have a lot of goals, I think, in life, try to do something with their lives. Of course, I'm sad about a lot of pressures in Hong Kong society. And that's why doing this in my everyday life, you know, being who I am, sticking to my morals and communicating these morals to people and hoping that it leads them to a healthier life as I think it has led me to a healthy life, I believe, and a healthy mental state. Because I went through a lot of things, also mentally, and I found some tools that helped me improve, feel good with myself, feel at peace with my mind, and feel so connected to my mind, so in harmony, and love my brain and love my body. You know, I I learned. I didn't. I wasn't born like this. I, I mean. You can say yes in my pure state, but because of society, because of, you know, pressures, pressures, then your brain gets so contaminated. But once you remove all these contaminations, you find your worth again. You find your strength. You find your essence. And yeah, aside from 
hoping to impact people in my everyday life and creating change. I think my main mission is to do artistic projects and hopefully create an impact that way. And that's why while in Hong Kong, I am focusing on creating. There are some music projects and some film projects. Thankfully, I have had the opportunity to meet like-minded people and we can create things together. We are creating things together. Just to give an example, I had the great opportunity to help film a documentary that will come out on Netflix next year. And I'm so grateful for that. I think that project has the positive impact I want to do through my job, my work. So that's why I did it and I'm so grateful. And I will keep doing that and doing other projects as well that I'll share later on. At the same time, I have this big personal project I created that is a Columbia movie. I wrote it around two years ago. It was intended to be a um, bande dessinée, which is a comic book. So I did the storyboard, storyboard is ready. And then I decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make it a film. So it deals with the fact that cultures can influence each other in a good way. This is my belief, but also based on my experience. Because I went out of Colombia and I discovered other cultures, I became a better me. I became more me, someone who is able to choose which rules to follow, which rules not to follow, and choose their values. So I will film that next year. And I think this is the beginnings of my trip pass. And this is my purpose. And that's why I'm far away from home.